I didn't pay for you. Game of Thrones season eight, episode five. Woo! That was a hell of a ride. It had a heart's palpitate, and then we hope you survive. Because a whole lot of people died. We open up on Ferris, writing letters about John to betray Daenerys. And she's really starting to scare us. Drogon pops out the dark and boom, Dracarys. Sheesh, that's a tough lesson learned. But if you mess with Daenerys, then you're gonna get burned. But more on that in a minute, cause Danny and John got some unfinished business. Well, John's a little freaked out. He doesn't want to kiss his auntie on the mouth. And that's perfectly reasonable. Targaryens, love incest. Jamie and Cersei, love incest. Starks, not so much. And that's okay. Tyrion sets Jamie free, but that didn't make much sense to me. Cause Danny just said if you betray me, you die. So she's either clueless or that was a lie. But this is lit, it's the ultimate fight. Thank the Lord of Light, it doesn't happen at night. The Golden Company is looking real pretty, but do they have the balls to defend the city? Nope. Surprise, Danny's arrived. And not a single person in the Iron Fleet will survive She's seemingly invincible and cannot die And not a single shot can take Drogon out of the sky But why? I got a couple problems with this scene One, what happened to the accuracy? Are they hungover? They killed Rhaegal last week, no problem This week, nothing Two, where's the dragon armor? The siege of the city was uncomplicated This squad came together and simply dominated And this might seem irrelevant But Cersei might have won the battle if she had an elephant Surrender is a minute, the bell starts to toll But Danny takes a turn and goes out of control And we're like, no, Danny, what are you doing? But she's like, yeah, the city's about to be ruined Did we just witness Danny becoming a villain? It looks that way from all the burning civilians Mad queen, mad queen, mad queen Danny looking like a bad queen, bad queen It's a shame she doesn't look the same It's time to give Khaleesi some brand new names Here we have Daenerys Targaryen First of her name Mother of dragons Breaker of chains And as of today Slayer of innocence, ruler of the ashes, loved by none, feared by all. Back to the fight between Euron and Jamie. Showdown between the two potential fathers of the baby. Euron's like, I'm a king, can you slay me? And Jamie's like, yeah, and goes friggin' crazy. Oh, and by the way, how did Euron get to shore so quickly? I mean, I know you're Ironborn, but you're not Aquaman. Cal Drogo's Aquaman. Cersei's looking scared, she knows she can't win The Clegane Bowl is about to begin This was the perfect opportunity for Cersei to die And the Hound just allows her to walk on by? Seriously, what, what's going on here? She's like, oh, don't mind me I'm just the biggest villain the show's ever known And I'm gonna just scoot on by here The Clegane Bowl was popping, revenge was the prize We got squeamish with the push on the eyes A fight with a zombie, a plight so dire It's only right that it ended with a descent to the fire the twins are reunited, the future is doomed Together in the womb, together in the tomb Poetic, I guess, but we gotta confess Cersei deserved a more terrible death But these people weren't the only ones to die To keep track of the rest, we made a guide One of the dead is this dude right here Got stabbed in the back by a Grey Worm Spear And then we got Kyburn, you know he's dead The mountain grabbed him and exploded his head and then we got Euron looking up at the sky But you know what they say, what is dead may never die And how could we forget about the women and children? Hundreds of thousands, maybe a million? We saw a lot of people D.I.E. All brought to us from Arya's P.O.V. And in the end we get a weird scene with a horse And then the episode ends, of course But this one really shook us to the bones It's time for next on Game of Thrones We didn't get much, but we can say this Danny's gonna die in episode 6 and she will be missed. They say every time a Targaryen is born, the gods toss a coin and the world holds its breath. <laughs>